Here are the two caterpillars on the milkweed that we have just collected from the field. This is the first time that uh, we're trying to raise monarch butterflies. So we don't know all the terminologies yet or uh, a couple of things that we do know is that they go through different stages. I think there are five different uh, stages. So from what I've researched on YouTube and online, we got two small caterpillars in here. See if I can get close. Okay, there's one right there. Uh, second or third day after hatching. There's one right there. Oh yeah, it's moving. There it is right there. And the other one is right there. Let me see if I can focus closely. Right there. Oops. As you can see, you can see the striping on that thing. And some areas that they've been nibbling on. So we just collected this too um, last night. And we get to see it um, turn into a butterfly, hopefully, and release it in the wild for the first time. So this will look like maybe one of the first videos that we'll do on uh, raising butterflies. And if you look at the bottom there, I put a, a paper towel down there. You could see those little dots. Those are their droppings. Actually guys, I'm going to correct my dad. So I was reading this pamphlet that I got from the Nature Center the other day and this caterpillar is basically the size equal to this one that we have right here. It's about like this big which is like 4 centimeters and that is the first instar. So actually, the little caterpillar is just hatched. Hey guys, so we went back to the field to try to collect some more caterpillars, but unfortunately there wasn't caterpillars. Instead, we found this egg. And hopefully we get to see it hatch. I can tell if it's male or female now. Where did it go? We're getting some milkweed plants. You can see, we have a whole bunch here. One of my friend's yard. So we are grabbing some to plant in our house, in our yard. Then I had to come back here in the spring to grab more. Because uh, I'm not so sure this will survive already. But we'll give it a chance. Is that a male? What do you call this? Swamp? Swamp milkweed. Do they spread too? We're getting some to plant. It's a female. It's laying an egg probably. And what is this? This is like a, a butterfly bush? Yeah, butterfly bush. Another butterfly bush? Yep. Different types. I gotta get some of those. Do they no. multiply too? No. Okay, so it, they're not invasive. No. Nope. And one egg right there. And I think that one right there, it's clear. It's about to hatch.
Alright, quick update of where we're at right now. That is one of them. Alright, there's the other one right there underneath the leaf. Focus. And there's that egg right there. Oh, it's getting clear, so. As soon as we see a black tip at the top there, that should be ready to hatch. So as of today, we have three, like between one to three star caterpillars in here. And uh, one egg. And we got four eggs over there. One is clear. As soon as that black tip should hatch. And then we have two caterpillar over there. That one there on the top just hatched this morning. So I think um, I'm going to leave it there for now. That leaf is still good. I changed the wet paper towel there for now. We'll wait till that one, middle one, gets a little bit bigger before we transfer it. That caterpillar right there, that's the top one. That's about... 14 millimeters which makes it uh, on its third instar and the one below it it's about or its second instar that's how it's looking today All right it's about three o'clock in the afternoon this morning that clear one didn't even have a black tip but look it looks like it's Caterpillar is coming out. So we'll check on, on that little guy later. And it looks like that egg over there also black tip, so that might be hatching uh, by the eight tonight. And looks like there's another egg over there that also black tip so potentially we should have about three new hatchling of caterpillar by tomorrow so there was like a black tip of egg right there on that leaf and i think it hatched or died so my dad's gonna check it out and flip it up oh wait no it's right there yeah. oh it did hatch yeah. Okay, we have a new hatch caterpillar, guys. We have a new hatch caterpillar, guys. Is that it? No, it's right there. Whoa, look at that fatty. He's about like third in star. Jeez, he's chub. He's like, he could fit on my finger. That's not gonna happen because I'm afraid. It's really fat though. Hey guys, so this is where we keep our caterpillars, as you may know. And look at the caterpillars, they grow so much, and now they're way bigger than what, what they were. Um, and they're, this one is the biggest one, and it's about 30 millimeters. And according to this pamphlet, it's almost at its fifth in start. And then we have two right there that are not far behind. And behind the gigantic one, there is a smaller one. We're gonna go to the park right now and go pick up some new milkweed because this one is now drying out. And my dad has to clean out all the frass from the container. So we're trying to grow that small milkweed over there uh, and it's surviving and I plucked out a leaf so I can feed the ones that we have inside. Look what I saw. There's about half an inch of caterpillar there so it's pretty cool. We'll bring him in. It's hidden in there so it's away from predators but look we got another one.
So we planted the uh, milkweeds that I got from a friend of mine in different areas of our yard to see um, where they will grow best. We're gonna have abundance of them next year. In the last two days, we've had lots of rain, so we actually had a good kickstart. That one looks like it might survive, uh, but the other two won't. But there's also a big root system there that I put in, so hopefully that'll grow too. So that's one location. This is the other location. Uh, one of them may survive, as you can see. It's kind of green. Um, the other one, I don't think so. So we'll see next year. This is the other location. A little young one in here, and that's definitely surviving. You can see. And that's where I pulled out one of the leaves from yesterday and discovered that um, there's a good sized caterpillar, mana caterpillar on there that we put in. So that's one. So they'll survive and hopefully we'll get some shoots from that also and we can plant them in different areas. This is the other location. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna survive. So I think we're gonna lose that one. And over here we have um, swamp milkweed that we got kind of bundle them all together and put them in a pot I haven't decided where uh, to put those yet but oh wait a minute. oh wait there's a huge caterpillar right there oh yeah there's definitely a huge caterpillar in there so we'll transfer that inside um, oh there's another one up there smaller version of it but right there right there we have another smaller one there so and this small we have another smaller one there so in the small swamp milkweed we've got two let me see if there's more we got definitely got a big one right there it's about a I don't know four inch star right there and then we got one there that's uh, maybe two inch star let me rotate this around and make sure we don't miss anything. So there's a little more. So we're going to move those two inside. So that predators don't get them. So, okay, so looks like we got two. So I'm going to pluck this big one out first. Okay, there's that one that I just plucked out. We'll come back for the other one. Let's put this inside. There's this one. Let's put it down there. So I didn't realize that I'm not sure guys this is we're all new here but uh, let me know if they also eat swamp milkweed or is this common milkweed that these things eat just that one right there we got it from a swamp milkweed okay let's get this one up that's a little bit smaller uh, that's about half an inch so let's bring it inside. Okay, let's put that one there. Huh. So this is the first time I'm seeing this, but I think that little guy right there is Jay hanging. I could be wrong, but there's two of those bigger guys down there. And then I have one up there that's kind of climbing. Generally, they're kind of everywhere. So I'm gonna have to give me some fresh leaves. These guys are eating like crazy. Okay, 
okay this is how it's looking and I changed that two days ago and as you can see they make a lot of mess and so we're gonna clean this up a little bit whoa it's like one turned into a chrysalis I think that's the, the right word excuse me if I gave the wrong terminology it's all fairly new to us but look that's pretty cool one turned into that ready f to be a butterfly soon it's really cool and it's like light green and it seems to be fresh so it looks like it just happened that's so cool Let's see if there are any other ones and just so you know there are three other caterpillars on this leaf there's that one and there are two down there Okay, so there's two more caterpillars here. So that makes it five caterpillars so far and one chrysalis. I think this is ready to turn to chrysalis too. Here's the one chrysalis that we have. It's pretty cool looking. It's got like iridescent patterns and gold patterns already. Uh, I'm gonna move that later on to a, a better location, but that's where it's hanging right now. see the patterns of the wings forming it's pretty cool so we're going to do a little bit of cleaning in the cage as you can see it's a couple of wandering there's one wandering and one of the things I've noticed is that one's pretty large already I think it's like in there it's ready to turn into I would say chrysalis but uh, it died I don't know why what the possibility there is are. I have no clue. Yeah, but that one died for some reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the cage. Those two are doing good. All right, guys, that one looks like it's J hanging already. There's a shell right there. And I looked above. And look, fresh chrysalis that just formed the last few hours. And unfortunately, I missed it. So, what I'm gonna do 
let's move this higher up here. But you can see right there, it's just having its fresh. So I'm going to move this higher. what that looks like that's that monarch caterpillar kind of a outer skin casing if you want to call it before it turned into a chrysalis So guys, this chrysalis right here is getting really dark, so it's probably going to hatch in the ne next like day or so. And you can even see some of the butterfly patterns through the chrysalis. And I can see the wings right here until it turns into a butterfly. Oh my god, how did you become that from what it was? Where's the green stuff? Huh? Where's the green stuff? There's one more right there. Nothing, see that? It's shell. It came out of that. Do they eat it? No, they came out of it. So I'm gonna leave it open. I'm sorry to see the lines on that one. Yeah. Like the veiny stuff. But look at that one. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put them on that flower to get some nectar. It's the first thing they do. Honey, when are you gonna power wash the siding? Hey guys, so this is our first butterfly that we raised from a little egg to a caterpillar to a chrysalis to now the butterfly. Let's see if I can get him to come to me. Oh, it's a male. You see it? It's got two dots. It's a male. Oh. Look, Jessamy. Look, look. He's flapping his wings. He's ready to fly. Look, look. Okay. 
so probably in the next two days this is gonna turn into a butterfly this chrysalis uh, is about to turn into a butterfly sometimes today It's definitely gonna turn into a butterfly, probably this morning. <laughs>